In 2 Timothy chapter 2, Paul addresses Timothy who is in Ephesus. And he says to him, be strong in the grace of the Lord. Now, in this letter, he says to him, be strong 25 times. And I think we all need to be encouraged to be strong in the Lord. In fact, let me read to you a passage of scripture from the book of Isaiah, where it says, he gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So they're ministering in Ephesus. Paul says to Timothy, be strong in the grace of the Lord. Grace, the probably simple definition of grace is strength or help that we don't earn, that God gives to us. So he says, be strong in that strength, that help that God gives you. And then he goes on to say, be like a soldier, be like an athlete that competes in some kind of race or competition. Be like a farmer who works very hard waiting for the harvest. And he's telling Timothy, be, be strong for a certain reason. And the reason he gives him is so that he might be an example and strengthen those other leaders who are there in Ephesus. He says this, flee youthful lust, pursue righteousness, avoid foolish and ignorant disputes knowing they generate strife. He says, a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition, if God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth, and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. So be strong, he says, to Timothy, to us. Be like an athlete, be like a farmer, you know, be, be like a soldier, but be strong in the grace of the Lord. And don't get all entangled in all these fights and there's so many things going on in our culture today, but use wisdom and gentleness and hospitality. This is his message to Timothy there in Ephesus and the message to you and I here in, well, wherever you're listening to this.